So the Delhi High Court on Wednesday upheld the ITAT order refusing to stay the income tax department's notice to the Congress Party for recovery of outstanding tax of over rupees 100 crore. The Congress Party had approached the High Court after Income Tax Appellate Tribunal on the 8th of March dismissed the party's application seeking a stay on the 13th February notice of the IT department initiating recovery proceedings against it. I have my colleague Sunil Prabhu joining us with more details on the story. Uh, Sunil, what we hear is that the assessing officer had raised a tax demand of more than 100 crore uh, when, the, when the income was assessed to be more than 119 crore. What kind of setback is it for the Congress and what had the, what, what had the counsel for the party actually asked for? Well, it's a huge setback and as expected, uh, the uh, Congress is going to move the Supreme Court in this regard. It's uh, really uh, something that hasn't uh, uh, gone off uh, well as per the, and, uh, the Supreme uh, Court's uh, uh, as, as the Delhi High Court had made it clear to the Congress party while it was hearing this entire matter uh, that why were you sleeping for the last three years? Uh, the Congress on its uh, part is saying that it uh, affects the level playing field uh, and alleging that you have virtually uh, cut our limbs, uh, not allowing us to, you know, have a level playing field in the midst of elections. It's in that backdrop uh, <coughs> that the Congress is going to move the Supreme Court on this very important aspect. Uh, the fact is that uh, 65 crores has already been taken away from the account uh, and there is a huge uh, tax demand and it's in that context uh, that the Congress uh, has two choices, either to move the Supreme Court or to start afresh from the income tax appellate tribunal. They've decided to move the Supreme Court on this important aspect.